Well, now let's get to this. USC held a different type of commencement ceremony last night after weeks of protests on or near the campus tied to the Israel Hamas war. The university hosted a celebration for thousands of students and their families at the Coliseum. Here's KCAL News political reporter Tom Waite with more. A dazzling show in the sky, a special send off for USC graduates and their families. And if fireworks were not enough, drones did their thing and impressed. It wasn't the celebration graduates were expecting. This was hastily planned in place of the main stage graduation that was canceled. I think it was a nice effort. I appreciated like the drone show and like seeing everyone that I knew. So yeah, I enjoyed it. It was so fun. It was great. It was amazing. I loved the um, drones were great. The fireworks were awesome. I think it was great given given the circumstances. I think they put a, a, a very good celebration together. And, uh, you know, given the security issues, it's been no, no problem at all. The night's Trojan family event, as it was billed, was put together after weeks of turmoil. On the USC campus, there were dozens of arrests as pro-Palestinian protesters refused to leave. USC administration officials also canceled a graduation speech by this year's valedictorian over what they said were security concerns. And this week, the faculty senate voted to censure USC's president, Carol Folt, and university provost, Andrew Guzman. A turbulent end for USC students, especially when you consider many of them came up during COVID. COVID was hard. Zoom graduation was really difficult but um, this was a treat for us so I, I really appreciate it. It's been a lot. Yeah, I mean a lot of my classes moved to online which was flashbacks to my freshman year online so it was kind of a strange coincidence but I think in the end it kind of worked out. I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News.